This week on Married at First Sight, we got to see the couples have their wedding receptions. First up, Cameron and Clara met each other for the first time on their wedding day, and they seemed to be happy with how things worked out. You look nice. Thank you. You, uh, I mean, you are breathtaking. <laughs> Stunning. You have an accent. I do. It makes sense that your gift makes yeah, sense now. Yeah, I should, probably should have explained them all. <laughs> the pair read their vows and officially are a married couple. By the power and authority vested in me, I now pronounce you a married couple. Cameron, you may now kiss your bride, so Claire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Claire and Cameron. After they tied the knot, Claire, who is a quadruplet, opened up to her husband about her brother who passed away. So I'm a quadruplet. No way. <laughs> yeah. Holy So four of us were born at the same time. Okay. So in the quadruplets, it's three girls, one boy, but my brother did pass away. This um, is like recently? It's four years ago. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, so he passed away, and so I was like, I need to the, make, like, just right, and I need to make him a part of this special day, you know, and I feel like he orchestrated this in a way, you know what really? I mean? No. I do feel no. that. I feel like I've had signs, I've had, I've seen him in like dreams. It just has felt so like, I'm not a person who takes risks at all. I would have never done this if I didn't feel like I was being led to do it, you know? Cameron has definitely made a great impression on Claire and done a lot to put her nerves at ease. Cameron is making me feel so comfortable. I don't know if he knew that he was dealing with the shorty, but the experts could not have made a better match. I truly don't think. Like, he is funny, he's smart, he's outgoing. But yeah, he's my husband, and like I feel like we are going to be in it for the long haul. And he equally can't stop gushing about how optimistic he is that he may have found his perfect match. I can't wait to travel with my wife. I can't wait to buy our first car together, you know, maybe get a dog together to experience a shared life. And I think from what I can tell, Claire is everything that I wanted and want in a wife. Lauren and Orion are getting to know each other more during their wedding reception. The pair had their first dance as a married couple, and Lauren reflected on it. You're going to think I'm lying, but I'm not. I've asked God for a person I can, like, slow dance in the kitchen with while we cook. And so, like, having that slow dance together made me realize it's probably going to continue to be awkward slow dances in the kitchen. But I'm glad we had that moment because I kind of asked for it. For real. She revealed more about her family to Orion, including that her mom sadly has passed away. My mother passed away last April. Oh, I'm so sorry. Honestly, there's no one in this room that I w was what I would say that I've ever been closer to than my mom. And I talked to her about everything. Like she's the type of person I could be like, I could tell her I had a one night stand and did cocaine, and she wouldn't. Not that I would do that, but she would just be like, oh, how was it? And then she'd come back and be like, okay, so let's talk about this. <laughs> but she was just like, just, just non judgmental parent, and my dad is very opposite. Things got a little intense when Orion was talking with Lauren's dad, who revealed he had some concerns after Orion said he was potentially interested in splitting his time between Colorado and the East Coast. Because of marriage, you have to make decisions based upon both for your likes and dislikes. And you just said that you are willing to, you know, spend time between here and the East Coast. What I didn't hear you say is that you're willing to also include Lauren in that decision process. What I didn't hear is, hey, I have a wife now, so the decisions that I make have to be always included with my second person in hand. My concern is, are you chasing opportunities someplace else? And will you consider what you say you want to do has to always be in consideration with your wife. Emily and Brennan had a fun time at their wedding reception. And Brennan is super into her fun-loving personality, even when she admitted to getting a little wild at her bachelorette party. I was, like, getting all the shots off the stripper. Shot, shot, shot. Oh, my god. You said you had a belly shot off him? It's the one thing my aunt said I shouldn't do, and I did it. You know, I can see that she's the life of the party and a little more reserved, but 
Um, I appreciate that Emily's gonna say whatever's on her mind. Also, you know, honesty. I just think it's a major building block to a successful relationship. We'll see, who knows? But for right now, it's, uh, it's really nice. But his friends did grill her about never having a serious relationship prior to tying the knot with Brennan. What do you think it is that, that stopped you from being in a committed relationship? I think it's just that like I feel like I deserve better than how I've been treated. And then I'm like, I don't really, if I wanted to get a, get a boyfriend, I probably could, but like I choose myself. And I just like haven't found the right guy. My question is, if you haven't been in a kind of committed relationship yet. How do you think I'm gonna handle marriage? Yeah. I don't think anyone knows, but I think I'm ready to trust myself. He has to trust me. And the one thing that I said because of this is that I just feel like I could always be better in constant work on my communication. I think with him, that's gonna be really important. And, and he, he also likes to talk. So being a good listener, working on those listening skills. I'm happy that you were just saying about being a better listener. So my mom said that, and I know it's something I need to work on. So now I'm gonna be like super conscious about it. The biggest thing for Brennan is communication. He's had a few serious relationships, but most of them end because of communication issues. Like, how so? Like, their communication styles don't match up, whether it's being a bad texter or just not sharing how you feel. So I think if you keep that in mind, you'll be set up for success. Becca and Austin were vibing at their wedding reception and are learning that they have a lot in common. I don't think they could have asked for like, anything better. It isn't common. It's not like you go on a Bumble or Hinge date and like you just agree on everything. Like, uh, I am slightly allergic to cats. Oh, same. Oh, yeah. Good. We literally married each other. <laughs> Like, I married myself. Seriously, this is literally um, astonishing. He made a great first impression on her. She opened up about how she was hesitant about being on the show, but he really seems to be genuine. First impressions, I I don't know. I think I've been really nervous about this process that, like, whoever was going to do this, like, wouldn't be doing it for, like, the right reasons or, like, wouldn't be as, like, genuine or honest or, like, trying to get the Instagram followers or, like, whatever it may be. And, like, instantly, like, when I saw him get emotional, I was, like... No, like he's he's in this for marriage, like for love. He's not in this for anything else. And like, that was my first impression, is that he's very authentic. He's cute too. And as they left their wedding together hand in hand, she shared about how happy she is about Austin. I'm so happy. Austin seems so kind and genuine and like that was my biggest worry. So my hopes for the future are that we just continue to get along. I'm sure that it won't always be <laughs> this great. But it feels exciting. It feels like this is the first day of many, many good days. But marriage isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And the super tease at the end of the episode shows that this season there appears to be some major drama coming with some of the couples as they settle into married life. And only time will tell if they end up staying married or getting divorced. Do you see a future well, with me? No, do, you see a few, do you see a future with me? Cutting me off really does piss me off when you act like that. Again, it makes me feel then and you can just suck it up. We are appalled that this happened and feel so bad for you. I did feel by so fucking for him, and now I'm just like, well, what the What are y'all not telling me? How dare you even ask that question? I still need time to, like, work through certain things that could, like, really tear us apart. It's really hard. 